What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? You definitely should know who this is by now. You heard the intro, so here we go. Mr. Warmack, and I'm in the building. All right, I'm going to do this little podcast thing here. I'm going to talk about today a little topic that a lot of you guys can relate to. And the, the topic's going to be, when they can't when they can't beat you or get with you, they hate. Now I'm talking about people that uh, try to do what you do, whatever it is in your field of what you do. And these people, are they're not successful. See, in a lot of, like, I, like I, I'm telling you before, success is whatever you're comfortable with. If you're happy with, if you're happy with just waking up in the morning, that's success in your eyes. Cool. Don't don't hate other people because they want more out of life than just waking up in the morning. But what they do is they throw tons of hate on people. Like I see this, and I mostly see this. You know, I see this on YouTube, but I mostly see this on my Facebook. As far as as far as my the chicks that I'm cool with that I'm that model. That really model, not chicks that are on Facebook posting 85 pictures, and you know, just to get some likes and not to get no bills, as in money. I mean, I mean the real chicks that really got a portfolio and like, or legit where dudes can say I worked with her, or ladies say, well yeah I know her, she does do it. A, a lot of people will hate on these people because they're not doing it, and a lot of a lot of them what I see is. A lot, from what I can see, a lot of them is where they tried to do it and they failed. I'm not calling them a failure, but I'm just saying they failed that 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 time. And my point is, I have never been, and I was taught this. I've never been one to hate on anybody, even people that I fucking despise. If they hit the lottery tomorrow, you know, good good for them. Because uh, that doesn't really get me anywhere in life. Let me put it to you like this. How can I get anywhere if I'm worried about the next man or, per- or woman? I'm worried about the people who are on my side and who have my back. That's it. And I try to help people out in general. If As long as I keep doing that, and, uh, and you know, and whatever happens after that happens. But as long as I know at the end of the proverbial day and I'm trying to do right and be justice. I mean, if I'm trying to be righteous and do just by everybody. Then I'm not complaining. Like I said, I mean, I'm working. Video and my nine too. So I really can't complain. All these other people that are miserable. There's people who like get mad when you cut them off. How do I know? Because I've cut people off and they got mad at me. And they're still mad at me. There are people and this is like real life. This ain't just YouTube people. There's people that have been in real life that told other people, don't talk to him because I'm not talking to him. I'm like, where do you get this fucking corny shit at? I mean, if you got a problem with one, I understand that. But I'm not going to take my problem to the point where it's going to revolve around my life. My life is too short, so is yours. I mean, and and I just, I try to stay away from a lot of negative, a lot of negativity, a lot of negative people. Oh, come on. I'm driving as we speak. That's why I might say, you might hear a little cuss word because these fuckers don't know how to drive. But, uh. To me, it's, it's just crazy. A lot of people, they want to, they don't want to do anything. And then they want to hate on you, like, oh, there's people that hate on me. I'm like, I was, I remember when I first started doing this. I tried to round up people to help out. I literally, I mean, I went to people, nah, and you know, you know how people are, you know. When you try to do something, they're like, nah, that ain't, I don't know why you're trying to do that, nah, this and that. They give you all sorts of excuses. And then at the bottom line, they didn't want to help you. They didn't want to do it. I'm like, okay, cool. They like you had to do it. But now, if you if you decide you you pop off or you see you you're getting some success in their eyes, all of a sudden they want to hop on that bandwagon. And like I said before, I said this on my Facebook page, on my for my personal Facebook. I said there's gonna be a point where I'm gonna cut the bandwagon off. You know, I was doing stuff for, for favors for people. I was doing this and that. But I didn't, like I did a video about a brand, I have to be more self-aware, and you should be self-aware. 
I gotta be worried about who I deal with, who I do business with, who I, you know, who I endorse and stuff, because say I endorse somebody who's a real fucking idiot. Well, people that you know, come back to me and say, well, hey, you co-signed this dude. You know, you, you I don't want to compromise what I'm telling you. And that's a big thing. I never compromise on telling you. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not the most righteous person. I'll give you that. I'm not the most morally right person. Like, I'm like, I'll tell you this. I'll give you an example. Look, man, I still, I'm, I'm not married. And I, like, every once in a while, I may fall back and, you know, meet a nice young lady, get together and do what we do. Now, does that take away from my message? No, that means it's, I do that. Am I a sinner? Yes, I don't want to be, but it, I am. And I'm just as bad as the homosexuals, because it's a sin. I'm not saying I'm guaranteed to go to heaven like these people tell you. But I give you what I, I give you trying to a real life approach. Because that's what I have to do. Because that's what I was given. I mean, life comes at you fast. And I just I'm just sick of the fact that like the minute you get some type of success, I see it with everybody. Like what I do is, if you know somebody on my, on my main channel, my lower entertainment, I rarely drop names. Like I may drop, like I said, I, I have a video where I drop people's names, but these are the people who I would tell you to watch. But I rarely drop names because nowadays these guys, uh, you look man, you know I feel like towards a lot of these guys. A lot of these guys are clowns to me because they act like their mamas because they were raised by a single woman. And they didn't have no male influence, so I treat them like I treat them. I treat them like I treat their mama. Because all they are are just, you know, women with dicks. So, and you gotta, you just got to ignore the hate. That's the advice, that's the advice I'm going to give you guys. Try to ignore the hate because, and then it's not worth it. I've had death threats, I had this. I had a guy, well, I know who this was. I know who the dude was, I can't prove it. But I had a troll tell me he'll give me $5 to... If he could take a shot at my jaw, I said, "Make that twenty grand, I'll be there." I said, "But the first, I said, the first punch is free. The rest you're gonna pay for." And then he started. And I, and that's, and I know that's how these how these motherfuckers operate. They get up here bullshit and half stepping, but then yet they won't get mad at me. I'm not doing anything else that any one of you can, can't do yourselves. All, all it takes is, like I said, a lot of you got smartphones and cell phones. Use the camera option or, or and go to the video part. Upload your video. It's, look, here's what I found out on YouTube. And I appreciate my supporters because I don't have fans. I have people who support me. I appreciate my supporters because here and I tell. And the secret of YouTube, as far as this genre, it's not hard. I'm, I gave you guys the secret a long time ago. And I keep giving you guys the secret is as long as you're real with people and don't give them no bullshit. They respect that and they come back because they know you you, you be honest with them. So that's that's my theory. Like if some people don't like it, prove me wrong. But what I always tell you people, you need to look up what I'm saying. Check this to, for your own personal security. Don't go by what everybody says, even me. Look it up because I could even be wrong. I doubt it, but I I could be wrong. So. Stay away from the haters. Don't be a hater. You know, it's not good for you. Because there's some of these cats on YouTube that ain't playing with y'all. Trust me. I talked to a lot of them. I, I even had to, like, calm people down on my, for my, you know, for my situations. Because I was like, I'm going to give you guys a little insight. This YouTube shit's become like the rap game. And <laughs> the 90s rap. Because there were a couple cats that were making videos. And, like, and they were kind of, and the one dude making a video, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was calling me out of my name, saying all this stuff that I never said. He, he was, he was, he was trying to take it personal. And I tried to tell him, hey, chill out. And then he had his little troll buddies. Well, when he got back to certain people, and, and this is, I swear to God, this is what this one guy said. What do you want us to do? I was like, I looked at him like he was crazy. Well, they are crazy. But I looked at him like, what are you talking about? It's you two. I said, chill out. And they were ready. I was like, nah, that's what, that's what I figured. I, I don't say names. And I don't, you know, engage in fuckery. Like, if you, if, if you want me to engage in fuckery, 
You have to bring the fuckery to me. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to sit here and uh, be here all day this, this, just for clown shit. So stay away from the haters. Keep doing what you do, even though people are going to hate on you. Because, like I said, the hard work does pay off. I don't like hard work, but it does pay off. I do it, but, you know, it pays off. So stay motivated. Stay up. Peace.